going on YouTube? So today we're going to open a package. Recently, or well not recently, but a while back, um, the local fish store that I used to go to to get fish closed down and all we were left with was basically big box stores. Uh, not really the quality of fish that I want to deal with. So jumped around on the internet looking at a bunch of sites finally me and my buddy decided on a site that we were going to order some fish from and also some plants so today what we have is we have our shipment here from Arizonica or azgardens.com have pretty good selection and the reviews and everything are pretty good on their site so we figured we'd give them a chance we've also got one other site that we want to give a shot to so we're gonna open this box up and see what the shipment looks like and basically give them a review and let you guys know and then show you what we got so let's get going Okay, so right when you open the box, right on top under uh, the flaps, there is your, uh, your basically receipt, your invoice, uh, so you can double check that with your order and see if they, uh, they shipped it out right. You can, uh, you can pay extra, uh, it's $9 and they will put uh, styrofoam around the box. I kind of thought that was weird that they didn't just do that automatically, uh, protection on their part. And then uh, you can also pay a dollar more and they will put either ice packs or heat packs in the bag or in the box uh, to help uh, you know, keep the temperature. So looking at one of the uh, bags with shrimp in it, um, uh, it looks like they double bagged the shrimp, so, so that's good. Um, one of the, I don't know if really you want to say issues or things I see that I necessarily don't like is since me and my buddy done a, um, an order together, we've got some of our shrimp mix now uh, so you know um, not not really a big issue it's not like they know any better but uh, yeah but
I'm basically checking to make sure nothing was uh, dead during shipment. They've got a uh, dead on arrival policy that I want to contact them as soon as I can to let them know if anything is dead. Okay, so first thing on my list here is uh, Panda Cories. Um, probably know what they look like. I've got some already in my tank. But uh, they all look good. Look very, very active. Um, which I would too if I'd, you know, be in a box. And this is something I've been wanting to try for a while and you're really not going to be able to see it in the camera probably through the bag but they're uh they're clams freshwater clams so i want to see how they do I i've been wanting to try those for quite a while i've, I've seen them on a lot of different sites but I've, I've never ordered actual live uh fish so yeah wanted uh want to give them a shot so then uh, we've also got uh, three, three new bamboos, kind of see them. They really don't have any color in them, uh, you know, j just again from, from shipping and they're, they're pretty young, they're probably, uh, oh, maybe getting about three quarters of an inch, not that much. Then I got 10 uh, Green Tiger Narret Snails, so they all look like they're they're okay in there. We got 10 Forktails, or, or Forkatas, and 10 uh, Feather Fins, um, Lace Fin Rainbows, they're, they're both a species of rainbows. They've uh, they've also really not got any color on them. Um, most of them's not going to have any color just because of uh, the shipment. But uh, it, it looks like one of the uh, thread fins uh, is dead, so we will uh, need to probably get a picture of that and send that to them. Okay, so this was supposed to be some uh, what what are they called here? Uh, blue eyed dwarf rainbows, and it actually looks like they uh, they sent three more uh, uh, feather 
rainbows. So, um, not really for sure about that one. And then here we've got some oh, Gorder River rainbows. Um, I would show you, but they're they're just a white fish right now. Uh, just still scared about being moved around. So, and then in this bag here where all the shrimp are, we've got three Amanos, six uh, blackberries, and six yellow uh, fire shrimp. So, yeah. The, uh, the yellow fire and the blackberry is, uh, is my buddies. The Amanos are mine. Whoops, sorry. Getting out of the camera. Like I said, you, you really can't can't see them. Uh, you might be able to see some of them right there. But so that's pretty much all the livestock. It uh it looks like they failed to uh to ship a couple of the fish. Um, not really sh for sure what that is about. We uh we were supposed to have uh two hillstream loaches and uh four uh blue-eyed rainbows. Um so I guess we'll have to uh contact them about that. So we got a bulb. It's basically a um a uh Uvalis uh apon plant. And we got some uh, Polisca japonica. Uh, pretty much, it's a it's a grass. It gets to be a big mountain of grass. Uh, if you're familiar with uh, liriope or monkey grass out in the uh, the landscape in your yard, uh, a lot of businesses and stuff have it around here. Uh, it kind of looks like that, just smaller. And we got some uh, sawtooth hygro, or kind of mine. Color mine. Oh, I'm not sure how you really pronounce it. It's kind of hard to see in the bag, like most of the stuff. I tried this from uh, one of the other YouTubers. Um, I can't remember what his name is, but uh, he he used to uh, do YouTube videos. He's he's kind of stopped doing them, um, but he also was selling plants. Uh, so I I tried some from him. I just don't think my lighting was good enough, so it never really flourished in my tank. Now with the LEDs, it should uh should do better. Here's another one. I'm kind of interested to see. It's called a uh, pink hippo, so uh, it's kind of a, a feathery, airy plant. Uh, my buddy kind of really likes that kind of stuff, so so again, kind of watch his tank, see how that how that looks. He he got most of the plants. I I just got a couple plants. Marsh mer Mermaid. So, not really for sure. I can't remember on that what that looked like, but obviously it's it's another feathery leafed plant. Here's a Sagittaria that he got. Um, usually, you know, we uh, in the fish tank hobby we see a lot of dwarf Sagittarius. It's a grass that gets about like this tall. But obviously, you can see this. This gets pretty tall. Um, the only bad stuff about the bad thing about this is the minimal quantity to order was ten, um, or you know, I'm sorry, twelve. So I'm not really for sure why that was, but yeah. Uh, so that really wasn't cool. And I'll just show you the name of that. 
instead of trying to pronounce it because I will kill it. But I, it looks like just a ball in there right now. But I, I'm the the pictures of this stuff look really awesome online. I don't even know how you would explain it. It, it almost kind of looked like a, a a seaweed or not not even seaweed. I I, I honestly it, it just looks cool online. If you know. I would definitely check it out. Again, this is for him. I'm I'm wanting to see how that turns out. But we got another bulb for an Anjapan. So that's basically our order. I will uh, get get the my fish uh, started to uh, acclimate to the water. I was actually going to do a water change on my quarantine tanks and. Uh, before I put them in there, but they showed up a lot sooner than I was expecting, so I haven't had a chance to do that, so I need to get that done, and then uh, I, I will get them into the tanks, so I'll uh, add that on to the end of this video, but just kind of want to show the unboxing thing, but we'll talk to y'all later. Peace. Alright people, kind of want to do a little bit of update from our order, so after Jacob got here and we checked his order and looked at the plants a little bit closer, got them open and got them in some water so they opened up, we could really see what they were. Um, so not only did we get two types of fish that were not sent to us, they tried to substitute one fish for another. So there's three types that, of fish that we didn't get. Then on the plants, out of all the plants that we ordered, I would say half of it was substituted for something else. And what the guy said when we called them is apparently somewhere on the ordering area is there's a checkbox that we have to check if we do not want substitutions. So wasn't real happy about that, but he's going to try to help us fix it. So. I will keep you updated with the when the remainder of the order comes in, but they're supposed to get that out to us here in the uh, next week or so. Um, to the two fish that they did not ship to us, they just weren't in stock, and I, I guess for whatever reason they didn't try to substitute that. They just didn't ship them. So I'll keep you updated. Obviously, I'll have uh, have another shipment that I have to open. So we'll take a look at that together, but I just kind of wanted to not leave it hanging and let you know that we're pinning up on them. So I'm not really for sure if, uh, if I can give them a good review or not yet. Thanks.